So you want to play a neo soul chord progression. You want to do it on acoustic guitar and you want to have that R&B flair. Well, today we're gonna see how to do that with a few easy chords, played finger picking. As always, a tab for this arrangement for this chord progression is going to be on my Patreon page. So we only need three chords. These three chords are minus seven chords, very popular in R&B and Neo Soul. And we're gonna use a couple of positions that you guys must know to play this genre. So the first chord is an A minus seven which we are gonna be playing with the second finger playing the root, skipping one string and at the same time muting it, and then the ring finger playing a bar. Okay, this is a C triad that we play with this bar, which is on fret five covering the D, G and B string, like that, okay? If you like, guys, you can play this chord this way, so changing the fingering, or if you don't really like this position, you can also play this one. Okay, for the sake of this chord progression, we're gonna be looking at this position, okay? And the nice thing about that is that this position can be moved two frets across and you get a B minor seven, which is going to be our second chord, okay? So A minor seven, first chord, and B minor seven, same position, second chord. And then the third and final chord that we need is an E minor seven, bar good, okay, with the bar on the seventh fret, okay, which I'm sure that most of you already know. Um, so these are the three chords that we need today, A minor seven, B minor seven, and E minor seven, okay. Like we said, we're gonna be playing finger picking, and the pattern is gonna be really groovy, you know, with that R&B flair that we want to achieve, and it's going to be a little laid back, kind of like this. So which strings am I playing? I start with the root, you know, with the E string, then the D and the G, then I play a percussion, and I hit, and I pinch basically with my index, the G string. Then I slide to my B minor seven, and I play the same pattern. So the strings that I'm playing on these two chords are absolutely the same, okay? And then when I move to the E minor seven, which has a length which is double the length of the previous two chords, it's gonna take the whole bar, I'm gonna play more strings with my arpeggios. I'm gonna play something like this. So starting from the root, I'm gonna be playing four notes, A, D, G, and B strings going down, then sort of another four going up with the same timing, first, second, third, and fourth, and then I repeat the same four notes, but this time it's gonna have a different feel, as you can see in my tab. It's gonna have a triplet feel, and then a longer note at the end, although the strings are the same, just before playing the slide coming back to A minor seven. So again, the E minor seven goes like, So all together, slowly, I play these three chords this way. And then I start again. You guys may have seen that I'm sliding between A minus seven and B minus seven, and also just before playing the E minus seven, I play this kind of slide which adds some flair, some groove to what I'm playing. So this is pretty easy, and I'm sure that with a little bit of practice, you can master this chord progression or make your own variation. I want to show you one variation, one embellishment, and one extension that you guys can try with these easy chords, okay? So let's say that you've been playing this for a while and you are comfortable with these three chords and the pattern. You now can extend the first two chords from minor seven chords into minor 11, which essentially means rather than playing this position, you now play this position, okay, which is also very common in this genre, and if you know it, you're gonna use it very often, okay? So the way you play it, guys, is by adding the 11th on the D string, so this becomes an A minor 11. Obviously, the strings that you play are the same, so although you change the position, you can keep the same right hand pattern like. Obviously this applies to the B minor seven as well, so you can do exactly the same position and the same pattern. And if you practice this with me, this is gonna sound like. Okay, if 
you are unsure about how this sounds like, if you're not happy with the pattern, stick to this exercise only between A minus 7 and B minus 7, which now are A minor 11 and B minor 11, before you go to the next part that I'm about to show you with the E minor 7. Now, the E minor 7 obviously stays the same, so we're not changing the position, but we are adding a hammer on pull off embellishment, which is really typical of this style. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is similar in a way to the pattern that we played in the simpler version, but we are also going to be doing something with the little finger with my pinky on fret 10 of the first string. So all I'm doing really, I start the arpeggio the same way, then when I reach the first string, I play this kind of hammer on pull off while I keep the bar down, like that. You really need to have a little bit of strength on the pinky and that's it really, okay, just like that. You also need to control the timing, you know, of this hammer on pull off. Then you play another couple of strings, you know, the, the B string and the G string. And then you finish with the bottom four strings again. Okay, so first, second, third, fourth, still with that triplet feel. hope you enjoyed this lesson guys let me know if you would like to see more videos like this one and again the tab for this arrangement and chord progression is going to be on my patreon page thanks for watching